We've got to make up our mind. Are we a cashless society? Are we, or are we using our coins to celebrate the new monarch? Because at the moment, both signals are coming out. Uh, Nat West has said that there's a limit on how much cash we can put into the banks or take out of the banks, and that's quite a small amount of money. And today, a new a commemorative 50 pence coin has been released to celebrate the coronation of King Charles III. And it, it, seems, it, it seems faintly absurd. We've got so many interesting coins being released for the return of the Jedi, uh, Dumbledore, even in colour. Uh, Harry Potter, the Queen, uh, uh, featuring on coins for the BBC Centenary, and so on. And yet all this seems quite pointless if the banks aren't going to accept our coinage. So are we going to be controlled by these organisations which are, for the most part, international, foreign, should we say, and at the same time, we have parties, uh, political parties, that are telling us to be more insular and less in international parties like UKIP, uh, that I know quite well, uh, that are saying they are going to withdraw the UK from the 1951 Refugee Convention. Mind you, mind you, uh, Robert Jenrick, uh, that um, arch performer who... Uh, who is more who is more disingenuous than a uh, uh, than a magician at a children's tea party? Uh, his uh, his 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 wayward prestidigitation uh, is soon to be celebrated. He says one thing, he does another. Uh, so now he's saying that we're going to leave the uh, European Court of Human Rights. Well, there we are. I think he'll probably be leaving office before that happens.